I guess since you're in this channel, that works too. Yeah, you'll. It'll, uh, I can stream it on my channel. <laughs> Okay. All right. So back to the stuff. There you go. It's it's now a uh, sub channel. Okay. I'm. I think we should do articles one and two, and add those changes to the Reddit. I mean, articles three and four are three and four should probably be done today too. No. I th I was. Just, yeah. I think we should make put them in separate threads. We should just keep going. Yeah, that's until... fine. Until uh, we're too tired to keep going. Go Until through all we the drop. Yeah. I'm already. I'm already too tired to keep going. <laughs> oh yeah. Aren't you on like the the earliest time out of everyone? <laughs> yeah, I also work the hardest. Mm. Oof. Oof. Shots fired. Hurt. Oh, I'm in real life. Actually, uh -oh. work full time. Yeah, that's not fun. It sounds like you work more than full time from what you're saying in the group. Meal. Yeah, you're right. Happy birthday, Megatron. Look, we got a new viewer, guys. Okay. Um, Happy birthday. Who wants to send it to the mod bill? Uh, I can take care of it. Nice. I was, I was Unless Bam wants to, it. since we did all the work. No, you guys can do it. Is it posted on the captain's subordinate? I haven't edited the um the new whatever you guys changed uh into the Reddit. So if you like copy and paste it and like copy and paste the source, you're gonna wanna change whatever you guys changed. Um, I couldn't follow exactly what everything you guys changed was. Yeah, I put comments in the doc saying what was changed. Change whatever you guys changed. I got emails about every fucking change. I know Sam is annoying. Who is like, oh no. I'd wake up in the morning and then I'd have like 12 emails and like six of them would be from Gulax. It's neat to know, man. You gotta know. Very important. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna edit the... Uh, Sebastian, do you want to do it? The honors? What do you need? We're just talking about who's going to send the message about the, or post the thread on the captain's sub for articles one and two. And send the message. Why if you don't want to do it, I'll do it. Why do you want him to do it? I don't know. They can't hear them. us, right? No, we can hear you. <laughs> oh. Oof. Oh, they can hear Rip. us here. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> You can't you make this channel to like so that you can't talk in there? I won't talk though. Yeah, Wait, this means they can listen to everything talking. we're saying and then uh, gossip about us. <laughs> well, we then, let's just pretend we can't hear them so that when they start saying bad shit about us, we can hear it. We'll probably God damn, talk this is the best CRC ever in the history of the CRC. I love every <laughs> one of them so much. The CRC hooked me. Fuck the CRC. <laughs> Wait, do you have to be dragged in a C-spawn? No, I didn't realize when I made it a sub-channel, it like, made it part of the private stuff, uh, so I just changed the powers. Oh, bam, I think you have to be the one that makes the post, because only you can edit the Reddit thing. What? So all your formatting will be dead. You can just click source. Ew. Just click I'm source and you can copy. I am changing your life. I used to use Thanks that every day. for the wire. So, <laughs> what do you mean, click source? Oh, do you have Reddit Enhancement Suite? No. Oh my. Your life is about to How do I install? Just type Reddit Enhancement Suite in Google. It's like the first hit. It's an ex I mean, I, okay, I'll, I'll do the I've, first two. Okay, I mean, I've heard about out, it like a million will, times, but... I will do this while you're figuring it out. Reddit Enhancement Suite. Breaking news, Mufro, CRC member, did not have Reddit Enhancement Suite installed. <laughs> Okay. The horror. Uh oh. We've cut them off. Just... Really? Yeah, they can't hear us anymore. That's why we got some late viewers. Good. Should I just give them the stream link? 
Gotta boost my viewers somehow. Dude, say the J Yeah, he said J the stream like. <laughs> oh, on the, oh, yeah. They should be able to hear us. I don't know why they wouldn't be able to hear us. Can you really not hear us, Mifro? Apparently not. Hmm. I don't want to let people talk because then they'll like, just distract this, you. Shouldn't this be a pretty easy thing to do on Mumble? What? Just make it so they can hear us, but we can't hear them. Well, that's what I did. Then why isn't it working? I don't know. <laughs> that's the problem. Well, shit. Let's figure it out. Interesting. Well, now I can hear you fine. Yeah, I don't know what's not. Does that to do with suppression? I guess, but it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, we can we're gonna have to hear them though. Can you hear me fine? Well no, because I just changed it back. Oh okay. I thought I changed it. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna send articles I wanted to. Are we start are we good to start on three? Yeah. Okay. So I think someone had a comment about I mean, that's like all free agency period stuff is in three, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, well, I, um, so... Are we going to change anything about the structure of it, or are we going to keep the rotating, like, back and forth between, what is it, it's Monday and... Like Wednesday. Monday, so it's Wednesday. like Monday at midnight. So right. it's technically Tuesday to Wednesday at midnight, which is kind of like Thursday, but not really. We're just going to keep it that way. <laughs> My face only just said <laughs> non mail. What? <laughs> Nothing. I, I wanted to make a Reddit thread so I could like comment about That's what I'm different doing. stuff in threads. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just left in my mail and like this giant wall text. Looks nice though. Thanks. Okay, so... <laughs> The big change probably for this, the biggest change will be the NLTP loan system within this section, I think. Section 5? Yeah. And I think we had said two times, and then after the second time, they go into free agency. Yeah, for the same team. Okay. Not um, just like loans in general. Like, you have to, if you're a loan. You have to call them up. A second time by a team, then they will be pushed into free agency. But like, if you're just being loaned by a different team each week, then you wouldn't get forced to free agency until right. that point in which you are loaned by the same team twice. Guys, should we do overtime? Oh, in instead of ties. Yeah, like an LTP, like the three, two, one, zero. I'm a huge fan of that, but there's a lot of people. I'm pretty sure the community would hate that, actually. I don't know how they would feel. We could do it in the captain's good veto, I guess. I don't like it for the stat reason. Where in what way? Stats. Oh, OT stats. We just tell them not to spend yeah, OT just, stats. Yeah, just if we're not including OT stats, then I'm fine with it. I what is the other time period? Another ten minutes. Golden cap. Uh, uh, ew. Yeah. 
I know they do 10 minutes in Cold Camp. If we did it. I say we just do all of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's Captain how the time breakers work, right? No, no, you just you nominate your best player. Whoever you want. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any desire to change it. If... No, nah, just leave it as tight, honestly. Okay. Yeah. It's not controversial right now, so... So, um, should we change this E section? Or, oh, no, run I'm too far ahead. Ignore me. I think we should, I, I said this in group me, I think we should rewrite the section about NPCMs to match, like, how we did them this season. Okay. Because, like, if you read it, it reads, like, the original idea, which is you, they choose an NPC captain, and then later the person just, like, picks whatever they want as an NPC pick, which is radically different from how we did it. Did we add a section uh, last season about like rosters where there's the gross inactivity, but there's like a section about quitting? Was that a thing or no? I think that's in there. Oh, it's that's also in the there. one that's quitting the team. I didn't see it. My bad. Yeah. What do you mean with this comment here about hard dates? Like. Instead of saying the third week, say April, whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we could say the third week and then say what that day is so there's no confusion on, like, what day we mean. Right. Because I feel like the captains are way too huge in potatoes to actually figure that out. True. They're all listening to me, which is why I'm saying that right now. Oh, actually, okay. I'm not sure. Can they actually hear me? Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I, I do think hard dates would just be easier <laughs> okay, cleared up, though, especially when you're kind of <laughs> talking about the ambiguity of, like, the last free agency period. It'd be nice to define it specifically. Okay, so third, are we going to stick to third to last? I think someone said second to last would be better than group me at one point. Um, I guess. Because we're not going to have an experience free agency, correct? I'm not sure. So I don't think that uh, being aggressive with like the second to last period would necessarily be the worst thing ever. Like you're you're not gonna necessarily get like a game changer, maybe for minors, but in the scheme of things, probably not. I'm not really sure. Seemed like the call-ups were utilized a lot more last season than definitely more than trades. But I don't really know how much trade you got used. Um, we didn't really get anyone. It was like, um, Brainiac. Week one, Kelvin, I think at one point, and then on original SN. Plus, we picked up um, Kinnick, who never played, and then I'm gonna go get drafted and then picked up. I think there's like maybe like somewhere between like five and eight transactions. I guess we probably shouldn't go off last season then, because this season could be different. There were a lot True. of loans last season, that's for sure. Specifically to one team. I kind of wondered if just not much happened because it was such a short, short season. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be the same, right? Yeah. I mean, it was really short. It just felt long because of winter break, I think. This is true. I think this one's going to move on really quickly because we only have the uh, Easter break, right? It's going to be like summer break, and we're talking about season 13, so... <laughs> and I feel like I'm nearing the end of the semester, so that's how short this is gonna be. Yeah. Let me pull up the schedule. Is that up to date? What is it? That's the schedule that I found in the that I made? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's up to date. Gotta true the schedule for our viewers. The only thing that would um could possibly change is uh oh wait. 
be really careful with what links you show in this. <laughs> True. Right, right. right. <laughs> Um, I don't think it's an issue, but... <laughs> well, yeah, this is a schedule, so it's public information, but any it, private Yeah, this is docs, a public schedule, but I was just thinking... Don't want to send them my piece. okay, then sucks, Link. Right. Super secret, who we're banning the season list. It's already planned out. We're definitely not going to ban okay, then. Definitely mm -hmm. not. Instead of you mean to add the uh, no ban rule, we're giving it to okay then. Let the people have some fun. So, free agency on the Monday of week five or six is I think what we're when is the last week of free agency we're gonna look a while. I don't think it's a huge difference either way, really. Um. My thought would be that, like, it used to be like that free agency period immediately after week five. Technically, MLTP's free agency periods, there's actually two periods in a week. There's the one that goes from Monday to Wednesday, and the one that goes from Thursday to Sunday. And, like, only it's only the thought. Monday through Wednesday one where you can, like, pick people up. But you can I was talking to Bam about that. Like, what's the point the, of that? Well, you can complete trades in the Thursday to Sunday one. So it's like, if you, like, get tag coins from something that happened on Monday to Wednesday, like a trade that, or like something that happened then, then you would have to use this in the period that runs Thursday to Sunday. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we could have... Is that yeah. worth all the trouble? Um, I don't know. Did you anyone get... take advantage of it last season, really? Um, I know I did when I was a captain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought it was actually kind of useful to have two periods, but... Okay, I mean... Because we could make it that second period instead of the first period. Yeah. So the second period of week five? Mm hmm Which would be, you said Thursday to Sunday? So, or, yeah, or Saturday um, at midnight, rather? Or, I guess, like, Saturday night? I mean, technically it is until that... It, no, it'd be until that Monday night. But I guess I'm. we've never really run into a circumstance where it, like... Because, like, technically you'd be able to, like, it goes through at the end of those periods. If that makes sense. So, like, oh, if like I just, made a trade, it, like, it stops on... and then immediately starts back up to the next well, one. What? So, okay, so like everything always happens at the, like the end of a free agency period. So, like the bidding ends on that Wednesday night, and that's when like everything is processed. So, like if you made a trade on like Friday night, it wouldn't be processed until that Monday night. Right. Guys, why is tag coin one word? I don't know, dude. I didn't make this shit up. It's tag coin TM. <laughs> I um, guess I would say that you could, like, make it... It doesn't make sense that like, periods, uh, periods, like, go over game days. It should be from, like, Monday to Wednesday, Thursday to Saturday, right? We can redefine that. Yeah, that makes more sense. Or just Monday to Saturday. And just have one period. Well, I think it makes sense to have two because there's two opportunities for things to be completed. Okay. I don't really care. It's not my area of interest. I will high keep in... <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, let's say we can just close it at like. So if it's week five and it's the it's May seventh. Okay, I'm changing all the times to Eastern in this. Do it. It's weird that it goes back to and that. forth. <laughs> You're Sorry. still outnumbered. You may have Sebastian now, but... <laughs> so... I say, you know, as one last final thing, like, you know, hurrah to PM, we leave everything Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. no, that's, the, that's the final death to PM. <laughs> the final death to PM. He's finally uh, rip. gone. GG PM. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> All the PDT. There's actually so many PDT times in that. Is it even PDT? Isn't it just PST right now? Or? I don't. It's probably name an award or something. <laughs> Is there an award, a private major award? Let's do it all in a green witch mean time. We, we, could, we could make universal. one. Okay, let's take one up. 
Best CRC member. Easy me. Best band. It should be like a lifetime achievement award, to be honest. Like someone who's not necessarily. It's like the. It'd be like, like a Jensen. super like high Like someone. Who, no, not someone who's like necessarily good at type group. Someone who's done a lot no, over a long period of time. Rob Delaney. But like. <laughs> Okay, I kind of like that idea. Did you hear me, Fly? Rob Delaney. <laughs> Can you please stop <laughs> saying my name? <laughs> it bothered me when you texted me and you were like, yeah, Delaney's going to stream it. And I was like, uh... <laughs> Can you just call him Rob, please? I don't know. Rob's too real of a name. Private Major and Award Delaney's to the most manipulative CRC member. Just call him uh, Robert. I like how you say that like Rob's too real of a name and Delaney's not a real name. Delaney's not a real name. Fake All right, name. D-Star. Fake star. That's not my real name. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hat throwing shade. I love it. I love it. Um, someone said that they didn't like the fact that all teams got the same amount of tag coins after weeks one and two. Do we want to change that or no? Couldn't you just, like, be bad to get a good free agent? Yeah. I mean... I don't have an issue with it. I think it's fine. I just wanted to see if anyone had any stronger feelings. Mm, okay, so that aside, you could theoretically lose your first two games. That'd be a good team. And then you have the most tag points, like, not even on purpose. Yeah. I mean... Are we going to have take points carry over from the draft? I guess what I mean is after two no. weeks, you kind of know more who is the bad team. Yeah, that's no. fair. Why, 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 I don't think we'd, we'd want to do that. Take points from the draft. I'm just double checking because we were talking about take points. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, like, worst case scenario, like, Grief Seed signs up for free agency. He can't everyone... play. I think we should encourage people to use all their tag points in the draft. Oh, or, you're talking about... You know, a lot of, most of them. Yeah, I mean, you should. The only benefit you should get from not using all your take coins is like having an earlier sneak pick. Yeah. Okay, good talk. Um, <laughs> so don't change that. Why did you write your name? I was probably searching for myself in Mumble. First free agency period will open at nine on the Monday after the snake draft. So yeah, that's next Monday. Oh, but before the NLTP draft, correct? Yeah, that's what I'm happen. I guess it'd have to be. So that's the twentieth. Um. Yes. Yes. Dude, it's crazy how far through the schedule we're already in. So why does it say an MLTP free agent is defined as a player who's registered to play NLTP? I think we should or change it to NALTP. Like, <laughs> make it should it be NALTP? a person who signed up for the free agency form? Yeah, just make it NALTP. Because that's what we've been doing. Like, we're going to have a combined form for MLTP and MLTP. Okay. Mm, did we talk about Bam's hard dates comment? I know someone said that. Yeah, I'm working on it right now. Okay. I'm going to put resolved. What are we talking about? My hard dates? Yeah. Oh, it was already. D starts working on it. Cool. I think it's a really good idea. Do you? Um, I mean, yeah. 
What did you mean, Bam, when you said this doesn't feel utilized at all about the free agency form? Bam. Bamboozler? I'm sorry, what did you say? What did you say when you commented that you don't think the MLTP free agency form is utilized at all? I think... Um... We have a ton of stuff that goes onto it, and like not everybody knows everything that's supposed to go there. So I was just thinking, like we could like make, players. Uh, no, like we should just split up the forms, right? Like one for drops, one for ads. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like we should have we should have a form for drops, a form for call ups, a form for loans. Like there shouldn't there shouldn't all be on one form that we call the general free agency waiver form. If, if that's what we're talking about. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I think we. I mean, fly grade on that already. And trades as well. Trades should have a separate place as well, in my opinion. I, I set that up in the drive under the captain's folder. There's a roster management forms folder. Yeah, nice. We can add the time. captains to that. Sweet. Um, and he had LTP. And those um, will all connect to that for the fire. Section 4, we need to redefine the windows just so we know. Any NLTP active... Well, aren't they going to go Monday to Wednesday, Thursday to Saturday? Or Monday to Wednesday, Wednesday to th Saturday, something like that? Or oh. I guess it would be Thursday to Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'd be... If we're going by the second one, that'd be Saturday night? So yeah, Saturday night, night at midnight. And it'll open, like, Thursday. Oh, I guess it would be Wednesday at Dino. Whatever. Depends if we're using fucking Pacific or not. Right. I don't think the opening is as critical as the closing date. If you're like looking to make a bunch of call ups like as soon as it opens, it's kinda bad news. Alright, well the way we had it are so that only like the call ups and ads and stuff would only be in the first period and then trades could go through the second. Yeah. Say that one more time. Like call ups could be made in the first window, and then trades could be made in either window. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just clarifying. Um. And drops could be made in either window, and. Yeah. Exactly. So the only thing you can't do in the first window is. No, the only thing you can't do in the second window is call ups. Right, right. Where are you guys at on the dock? If you click their like icon in the top, it will bring you to where their cursor is. What? You're enlightening me so much today. What's this comment about um Is this necessary? If not, adding hard deadline is necessary. Section 3B7. I think that we just want to add... Yeah, I think it is necessary because otherwise, like, a free agency period, like, it's a different way for the there to be, like, a trade deadline. We don't have, like, a hard trade deadline. There's just a last final free agency period is the way it's currently written into the rules like we don't have a the trade deadline is whatever whatever at like this Pinaheim it's just you have to do it in the final free agency period All right. uh, I think we should add just like a date in there though like, to make sure just People like a, of aware of are aware of the actual deadline, instead of just being like a kind of a cryptic like it's the final, during the final free agency period, which you got to go somewhere else to find like where that actual date is. You know what I mean? 
Oh, this is more about like general free agency periods than the last one, right? We're talking about well, section thought, 3B7. I thought she was saying something about uh, trade deadline. Right, the trade deadline for each individual period. No, oh, I'm gotcha. saying that there's like no, like, you know how like in the NBA, the, like the trade deadline is a certain day at which no trades can be processed after that. Like the MLTB doesn't have like a trade deadline or like a free agency deadline in the sense that the way it's written to the rule is is just that the last day you can do a roster move like that happens to be because there's no more free agency periods after a certain date. Oh, okay. Which is kind of convoluted. So we could say that, make it like more obvious that XYZ is the deadline. Right. I think that's what we did later in the doc. We said right here that the last until 9 p.m. on May 13th. I guess we could make that a little more clear that that's like the, the hard deadline. Because it is kind of like a wall of text. A lot of stuff is written pretty poorly, to be honest. I think it's because like new ideas kept getting added over the seasons and yeah. it was never really like looked at as one whole thing. Are we interested in like fixing all the like stuff with this or just sticking with like how people just, you know, everybody knows how it works. And... I think we should fix it if we can. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I just mean like, I agree. since we're trying to like submit these for ratification right now, do we just want to stay up all hours a night and fix it, or? Um, well, like, oh, to what level do you mean fixing? He means, like, just, like, just... language fixes, I think, right? Yeah. So, like, we can, everyone knows what the meaning behind the rules is, but we'll update how they're written so that it conveys information in an easier way. Yeah, I don't think we have to, like, I think if we, like, pass them with, like, the... I think we can make language changes for clarification after they're passed yeah. if we so desire I think we should do our best to like make sure they're clear before they're passed but if we see something at a later date that we want to clarify I don't think it's a big issue yeah it just I think I agree with Mifra that like rewriting all of the free agency shit is going to be like more annoying because it's one of like the larger areas of the rules, and it is pretty poorly written. It seems. It's just. It seems like there's a lot of stuff that's like unnecessary in there. It's like they're using like way more like words than they need to to convey all this stuff, especially like with the nine o'clock like deadlines. It seemed weird. I guess it's it's midnight in the Eastern, right? It's midnight. It's kind of weird reading it as nine, though. Anyway, but yeah. like, um, do we need to write redo the NLTP section of this since we're changing, like, instead of having a general form link, we're doing individual forms? Or? Yeah, all the form links will be different. I think we should get rid of the links out of the rules. I think we should get rid of the links out of the rules. Like that's not public information. Yeah, someone literally clicked the form last season. Was like, why is this public? And filled it out, but no one else ever noticed. Just <laughs> put the public links in the sidebar. There are, well, there's the only public what? link is like the signups, right? Well, yeah. the free agency form, right? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Or is that something? Yeah, true, true. I think we can link the free agency form, but like they don't know that they catch and shit. <laughs> oh really, hat nice. I thought it was like a JJ Pool thing. <laughs> JJ Pool fucking finds the smallest. Th you could you could have like a comma splice and be like, "Oh, this is not how you properly use commas." <laughs> I. <laughs> you were saying he was complaining about like the map vote structure. Oh yeah. <laughs> Every Are we gonna have arguments arguments about the Oxford comma? Let's let's do that. I'll have to or schedule have to that in. Delay the auction drift. That's like the halftime show to the Super Bowl. 
Super Bowl. Anyway. <laughs> um, but you don't you don't think like based on how we like separated the forms that we need to change the language at all for the signing in LTV players section. Well, we'll have to change where it brings up the NALTP free agency form. We'll have to, ch- I guess, will that have the same name? I guess. And then, I don't think I have a form for that yet. But that'll be in a different section of the Google Doc folder structure, I think. Okay, I wanted to coordinate with NLTP with that. I mean, it's just like a form you say that you're willing to be called up, right? Or like drafted to an NLTP team. Uh, it's like you only I think is it I guess, what was the just... purpose of it going to be was it going to be for NLTP and MLTP like the, the whole system form? yeah yeah you just sign up in one place like if you just you just sign up for it and if you don't get taken in MLTP you just fall yeah, down you don't to MLTP automatically go into MLTP. so you don't have to sign up for free agency twice basically yeah exactly that's how it's been so then we do have to coordinate here. with them. Well, we we did coordinate. We had to like give them access and stuff. Well, they actually it. they actually ran the form last season. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go then. So you have to opt in to being eligible for call up. It's not everyone by default is eligible. For uh, call-up. that was a thing. We didn't enforce it at all last season. Okay. I think that. It's like an excessive amount of work for something that doesn't really ever matter. Right, like six people tops getting called up. Or, well, mostly that most people don't opt out. Or, like, it's pretty easy to clarify, be like... Yeah, you just say no. (laughs) Yeah. I guess the thing it was used was to be like, if you said yes, then you, like, can't deny the call up if you do get called up. And it was to stop the, like, clay rock situation where you're, like, never really sure if anyone is called up. But um, I think with the new bidding system, where like to like call someone up, you like open them up for bidding rather than like adding them to your roster. It doesn't really matter because if you decide that you don't want to be called up after someone bids on you, then like it's pretty obvious, you know? Yeah, no, that makes sense. So I just scrap that. Number nine. Do we fix call up often? Form? I'm just confused which role you're looking at. No, um, there used to be a thing where they had to like, like yeah, fill out a that. form to be eligible to be called up, and I don't know where that is. Oh yeah. She's scared of that. Wouldn't it just be the call form? Uh, I combined them. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know what you had named it. Makes sense. Holy PST or PDT, choose one. Is the uh, free agency eligibility list going to be public information? I don't see why. It... Oh, well, I don't it, think there it... is to be an eligibility list. That's what I'm saying. What do you mean? There doesn't need to be an eligibility list. Like we need to, we need to the, list the like who's list who signs up like, in time, right? I, I think it would just be like the NLT free agent list. The eligibility right. list so was you like... remember, you remember how I ran it last season, right? So like, it would sh- there was like a tab that ha- looked like the big board basically that showed like who was eligible, and then there was like another tab that had like all the signups on it, and people like were crossed off when they were taken. Yeah, but and, what I'm saying is that the, the when they wrote that rule, there was like a fucking list you had to opt into to be eligible to be called up, oh, which is what that's yeah, referring to. Yeah, we don't need that at all. And what you want it to be saying is the NLT free agency list. I don't think it needs to be eligibility. If that makes sense. Wait, the team has to opt into it? No, I'm saying, okay, if an MLTP <clears throat> player wants a team... 
they had to reach out first. The player, um, not the team. ALT free agency, they must submit the nomination. It's not called the eligibility list. That's what I'm saying. Gotcha. Yeah. Just, just to get eligibility. There you go. Is there a reason there's quotations? Is this just the right, those things? Okay. Well, there's quotations everywhere, so it's like the lost cause. The links will emphasize it with the color. I just went through and changed PDFT to PST, so if you have stupid things you want to change, just ask me. Okay, so everyone's good with weekly bits. This is why they made me CRC, guys. I change things like that. He's the janitor. This <laughs> So the weekly bidding threat is all going to be the same. Uh, yep. We decided it's... Oh man, I, can't, I forgot again. Alright, so the range is... It ends Saturday. It's Thursday to Saturday. And... Monday to Wednesday. Monday to Wednesday. I think uh, the thread would is not made... Following the last MLTB match, it was made at like Monday midnight. And because this is the name of every call for free agent. It would be like, um, I guess at. Is it PSC? Yeah. Yeah. Every call up. Yeah, you do your thing. Sebastian, are you alive? Yeah, he's sending me angsty messages. He's sending you messages? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, aren't you special? I should be. Sebastian has an early bedtime. I want to make the ultimate sacrifice and sleep at work. You just want to finish Article 3 and then call it? Yeah, that's fine. I have a snuggie yeah, here, so it's not all there. Article 4 doesn't take much. Like, it's really close. This is all stuff that's, like, super not controversial, but hasn't been... Like, the rules have been updated in forever. So, well, the call-ups is a little controversial. Free agency isn't really. Yeah. For um, Section 4B2, when it says on a weekly basis during the timeline specified in two, is it referring to itself? <laughs> I find that dude. Um, so meta. <laughs> wouldn't it just say on? Like that doesn't make any sense. Specified here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> kind of so cracks me up. Some of the stuff's like capitalized. It's kind of like really legalistic looking. Period format is capitalized. 
Why would you, why is the on a weekly basis during the timeline specified here even? Wouldn't it be like, is as follows, uh, it will begin at... Why is it 901? <laughs> and this is 8. It's kind of like it's saying like... Yeah, this is the kind this of stuff that follows. we're talking about where and it's here, like... here, I'm going to say it now. There's like stuff like this all over the rules document where the wording is just like really strange, but... Going the young PM. We should send back PM the VOD of this, this stream. Be like, <laughs> we fixed your shit, bro. <laughs> we well, made it, you an award. Until 9 p.m. 8, well, I guess it'd be... 8.59 p.m. that the coming, the next set right, on Saturday. I don't know. It's... So I like it. It's a lot of text. I feel like it should be like a little like... It should like... be one of those like sub-dotted things, you know what I mean? Like the, like it should be another bullet list under it. Yeah, I was gonna say, it should be like a little more like visual. Instead of just like a freaking paragraph with like 901 PSD everywhere. Yeah, it might just be that I'm tired, but it's too much reading. Like, does this shit ever happen in 901 PSD anyway? Yeah, it does. I would fucking stay up to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking you. Because people would bitch if it's not right up on time. So I would like stay up until midnight to make the fucking threads and then I would go to bed. We should have an auto moderator. Uh, yeah, we should. Should have some sort of ceremony for it. So, like, light a torch or something. For all the trades that are going to happen. Right. Like, the two. Like, like cannon shots. <laughs> so, yeah, this is... <laughs> it's like we're just stuck here, like, editing language instead of working on, like, actual... Rules. Mm, it's okay. Where were we at before this? Before we hit this roadblock? It'll make somebody's job easier in the future. Somebody's. Maybe You ours. know what they're gonna do is like they're gonna see they're gonna no one's gonna like they're gonna read through this, they're gonna see this and they're just gonna talk to someone who's already a captain and knows how it works and be like, What does this mean? <laughs> and I'll explain it to them. No, then <laughs> Ego will find this. We oh, didn't walk yeah. him through it, and then we'll have to walk him through it. True, true, true. Or he'll get fucked because he can't do something on a Saturday. Exactly. <sighs> okay. Wednesday to Saturday period. Oh. This part doesn't matter. Can I add the bullets? I'm still confused. You know what are you oh, doing? What you Oh god. What are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? That should Bro. I didn't do it. Don't look at the man behind the mirror. That's fine. We're... I don't think we're going to make anything major changes. Busy, are we? Holy, I went so far back in time. Alright, see you later. Bye, babe. Bastion's leading too. How are the West Coasters the ones going to bed? Yeah, I was up with that. I used to. Weak. <laughs> I think I've updated this. It's all that California weed making them lazy. <laughs> Seb is quite the little pothead.
Why is there a two? Because <laughs> there's a one above and it was a three. Oh. <laughs> but why do we that even was, have it? Oh, uh, shit. Someone can I know. That was, that was old and I accidentally went back too far in time, so just take it out. Yeah, I think when you control Z, it like it's it's really funky on Google Docs. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what happened. Why why do we have um? Why is this separated into a different thing? Like the second free agency period, it should just be still the same part of the format. You know? Make it however you want, man. Make it more separated out. We were just trying to make it look a little more like graphical, so it was like, I don't know, didn't suck ass or something. I don't know, it was, it was hard to read. Yeah, it's it's more annoying to read this way. Yeah, but they were like, not different things. Oh my god, all the PGTs got changed back. Well, there's, a, there's a subsection for the first free agency period and the subsection for the second free agency period. Because they're two separate entities. Oh, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> All right, it'll make me feel better. Why did so it's from Monday to the following Wednesday? Dang it, I fucking changed everything I did. So is that a whole like week and a few days? What? It says the free agency period will begin at nine PM whatever on Monday and end at nine on the following Wednesday. Uh of so shouldn't that just be 9 p.m. Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. Um, Oh, I wanted to um, say that they could put the nominations into the first 24 hours of the period, remember? Where should I put that? Uh, probably in the nominations area. Any NLTP player, an NLTP inactive player who desires to join. And an NLTP team, i sure. Their name to the end of the LTP for agency form. Pictures of players. Players can sign up on. Oh, that's not true. Any able to be active player or any able to be inactive player who desires to join. Foreign players can only be signed. 
LTP teams are free to approach an LTP player to try to I mean, the free agency window thing looks like at least three times as good as it did before, and makes sense. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little victories. If anyone wants to be player, if anyone wants to be listed on the Miss Man on Nations, shake off arm with an A, but the player they want, an I, and be in BST on Monday. Wait. Okay. Can you guys read like part C again? Uh yeah. I just like Shiny LP players? Shit. Yeah. I think it makes sense. Why would a NLTP active player have to register their name to the NALTP free agency form? What? It reads like an NLTP active player must also register their name, but it's just... Um, mm, how about just any player? If they are not already on a NLT roster? Yeah. Yes. There you go. Nice. So much cleaner. Yes. <laughs> uh, Rick's Bastion. I'm not surprised he goes to bed at like 2, 2 a.m. like clockwork. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Eastern. So is the free agency list private? I thought it was public. It was public. Mm. It's a link right now, right? It's public. I can put it back to public. I feel well, like somebody said to make it private or something. I don't care. That was I don't really the, care. Like, eligibility the list of like NLTP players who said they would want to be called up <laughs> that we've since removed. Oh, okay. I think that's relevant. Shouldn't this be accept a call up?
An LTP team is a free approach in LTP players to try and convince them to accept a call-up. It used to be sign up for free agency, but that doesn't make sense. I think. They wouldn't be free agents, they would be LTP players. I don't even know why that's in there. <laughs> Do we need that? <laughs> oh, I feel like in that context, the first point one doesn't make sense either. Should be any NLTP player. Should it, should it just be signing free agents? NLTP section. Maybe it's just signing free agents. Because that's what this is. Do we not care if they're NLTP? I shouldn't just be signing... I will because NLT free it defines free agents as an MLT free agent is any player who is registered to play in an ALTP regardless of whether or not they're assigned to a team. I think it should just say signing free agents. I'm and down. I would say signing free agents. It's not like we have a sec section for how to sign free agents, you know, and yeah. like the we specify later. The differences between people who are LTPs and whatever. Yeah, it should be the least redundant as possible. Should it be MLTP? Cause... Well, but then. Oh, uh, never mind. Never mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. Players can only be signed to an MLTP team if they sign. Can't put inactive players. What do you mean inactive? Because we have different rules for current NLTP players, don't we? Like call ups and loans. Or am I confused? I don't understand. What do you mean by inactive? Uh, inactive as in not currently on a team. Never mind. <laughs> we already said it in point one, so it doesn't really matter. Do we need point three? I feel like it's unnecessary. Yeah, and it doesn't really make sense. Yeah, I kind of wonder if, I was wondering if point two is unnecessary also. Yeah, okay. I feel like that's in point one. Yeah, we can just delete two and three. Yes, delete stuff. <laughs> Any player not already on an NALTP roster who desires to join an NALTP team must register their name in the free agency form. If an NLTP team wants a player listed on the free agency list, they must submit nominations to the free agency and call it for them. Okay, that looks good. It's pretty clear. Simplified. Less bulky than it was. If the roster is a maximum amount of players already, they must provide the name of the player they wish to drop. Weekly bidding thread will be made. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, let's see. If we're just calling this section signing free agents, then we go off on a tangent and start talking about NLTP everywhere. Okay, I see you're changing it. Because it is just one thread, right? Like, it's a thread for free agents and call-ups, right? Yeah, it is. I don't know if I need a comment there. Um, if we can jump back up to the free agency stuff for a sec. Sure. Um, 
the very beginning, section 4A2, an MLTP free agent is defined as any player who is registered to play in an NALTP. Um, Wait, where are you? 4A2? Okay, yeah, I got you. Um, is this necessary or like accurate even? We redefine that literally later. Um, I think we should. Is originally an NALTP. Because you don't have to be. I think it should be like. Is that better? All right. So can we just get rid of the part about registered to play an NALTP and just say you're on an NLTP team or NALTP free agent? Uh, okay. Is so NALTP free agent? That's the that's just the form. Anyone who's filled out that form. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, we might want to put a link to the form in there as well or something. It's later in the rules. Oh, okay. Not really obvious, but it's in there. I guess we could move uh, Mufro. You know where you are in section C1? We should move C1 to be, be uh, A3. Like, we could take this entire part that I'm highlighting. <laughs> and move it up to A3. A3. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I like that better. Put it right at the top of the free agency section of the rules. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh, what do you mean? Added to A3, the two bullet points, or made oh, two yeah, bullet yeah, points. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Added, like, the thing about automatically going in LTP. Yeah, that looks good. So now down here, if an LTP team wants a player listed on the NLTP free agency list, they must submit nominations through the call form, link down the captain sub with the name of the player they want by 9 p.m. PST Monday. If the roster has the maximum amount of players already, they must provide the name of the player they wish to drop. Weekly bidding thread.
will be made on our SCRC MLTP captains. We'll make comments because this is the name of all MLTP captains will make comments consisting of the names. Hey, Fly, didn't we change something about the um, the map voting section? Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's reflected in the current rules discussion thread on Season 12 Captains. Oh. Uh, the sections that we're talking about involve maps? Uh, yeah, I think section... Like two, Article, Article think. 2, Section 3 was about maps, and we changed it from... We added that thing about, like only one new map and what is it two they were a max of the four from last season i think yeah oh. i think that's all we said yeah i don't think yeah though i think we edited those and those are in the current rules up for discussion they never got posted to the captains because uh pat just commented on the thread oh true and he was saying, um, talking about it can you make a reply to it just saying that because none of these is finalized, we could. Um, I just I can't show think like properly. Multiple options. Yeah, I really don't care about the maps. I mean, okay, I care about the maps, but like, it's not integral to starting the auction on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Like, I I know some players like sign up and they're like I'm gonna remember my sign up if I don't like the maps, but if people want a short off season, I feel like it makes sense for the map vote to be in that two week gap after the auction. It, draft, it really won't know? take me long once we get the like number. It's yeah. pretty quick. I'm just saying, if you want to like move stuff around and make off season shorter, I feel like the maps is like one of the easiest ones. Yeah. I, I kind of wanted you to get it done just so the like canadian questions figured out before the auction, but... Do you want me to just reply to your... <laughs> the odds of canadian getting yeah, what he wants are really slow. Yeah, we I guess. Just reply with an update saying, like, Section 3 is actually this. Hack can probably right. hear us. Yeah, or just post it. Yeah, we're doing <laughs> that. Okay, yeah, I would just maybe post it in a thread. But, like, you could sticky the comment, too. That's a good point, okay, then. JBay on the stream said, Please either do 12 PST or 12 EST. None of this 9 PST BS. I have no idea when I when that is. Quit CRC to get away from this stuff. End up watching on Twitch. <laughs> I guess I would just... I, I do think that we should make it just midnight, but... Let's just change it to 12 EST. The one benefit is that if we keep it the like 9 p.m. PST stuff, then it is like this like a Wednesday. We don't have to change it to like Thursday, <laughs> which is clear. But I don't really care. I don't follow. Like oh, 9 oh you mean like because it's like midnight is like the yeah yeah okay yeah I get you. like 9:01 PST on a Wednesday is. One it's clearly Wednesday Thursday. night, not Wednesday morning. Thursday morning, yeah. Yeah, see, it's, it's just, yeah. If the CRC sees this, hashtag free Megatron, hashtag let me, let Mega, not no, Megatron Novus, hashtag corrupt. We'll just delete that. I don't want to go see that. Do you think we can finish the map vote before the auction? Yeah. Well, for, well, but, you know, Spirit, who doesn't read the Frito Cannon's mail. comment, I think it makes a lot of sense. Oh, what were you saying? Only missing three captains. Let me see who we're missing. Rip. We're missing Ferret, who doesn't read the mod mail because he hates the format. Uh, we have LeBron and two. FXU? FXU? I thought I added him yesterday and he accepted it. 
No, but he hasn't voted on this thing yet. Oh, okay. Like, I'm saying we're missing LeBron, FXU, and Ferret from voting on the first map thing. And once they do that, we can move into the next section. Or she was, like, just literally... I can bother Ferret. Yeah, bother him. We could probably get LeBron on um, Discord. Okay, we can do it tomorrow morning. It's not, like... I don't think anything big's going to happen tonight at uh, 2 a.m. We're doing all the rules at 2 a.m. <laughs> the rules no one cares about anyway. You know, to be captains, make comments. Nominating free agents to be signed. Er. Yeah. Wait, no. Free agents or call ups? The MLTB CRC. Oh, the CRC does that? Yeah. Um, okay. This is a little off topic, but okay, then to ask me about it. Uh, I brought up an idea recently about um, two tiered double double elimination playoffs so that, oh, yeah, that there's more significance put on the regular season. Basically, how it works is there's an upper tiered uh, winner's bracket and a lower tiered loser's bracket so that the top two teams from the playoffs or uh, from the regular season will get sort of like two lives in a way. Uh, so um, I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, I think I've done that in like Madden before. It's used in a few different tournament structures. Um, I think it's it, it definitely fixes the problem of the regular season not mattering as much because having that extra shot at playoffs after losing a game, even if in the winner's bracket is pretty intense. The other one we brought up was the round robin. Right. Kind of like the soccer style. Mm -hmm. Where like you have the initial, like the prelim round. I think it's fine. I don't I think actually could be kind of nice. But I think this is something that we would probably have to talk about with Sebastian and Bam. Right. I just wanted to get the discussion started because I don't want it to like just be forgotten and are we gonna keep the same playoff format like well that's what like, would be changing is the format like oh, no, you're I talking mean, about individual three games. matchups um, i don't think that should change yeah i think we were there was someone uh, that they wanted to change the super bowl itself but everything else could probably stay the same so instead of yeah, best I think of three it could be best of five or something i think sidewalk said that and i kind of agree with them the super bowl should be best of five or something So they just each ban one map and then the remaining ones. Some people think, think it should be like so that like you could tie, like you could just have a tie and want to go to overtime. So like you could have like a final, so like could win the Super Bowl with like two wins, two ties, and a loss or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't have to necessarily. Like, I, I don't know. I think that's what they did in NLTP in season six. To what? It takes I fucking five hours though. That would take forever. Yeah. Five games? That's 100 minutes. Best out of five. Yeah, if you had to play all five, it would take a long time. I don't know. Oh. Something to consider though. Yeah. I think we Wait, so what was it? I didn't follow what you said, what they did. About the double tiered or. ELT? No, I followed that. Yeah. No, it was like. You know how, like, if over the two, like, the 20 minutes, you're still tied, like, the first half, like, the team wins 3-1, to one, and the next half, the other team, like, wins 3-1, to one, so you're, like, 4-4, yeah. and then you would go into, like, a 10-minute overtime, or, like, yeah. they would, they wouldn't go to overtime. They just took a tie. It would like, just be a tie. So, but like, you would play best if the next team then, like, if it was still out of a 3, the next team then won, it would, they would just win. That's kind of interesting. That would kind of fit Actually, in with no, the regular season win. a little. They would... I'm not really sure how it worked. It was something like that.
Yeah. I just, I was wondering if it would be like a good way to balance the length of a five game Super Bowl. I mean, if you did four game Super Bowl and then like the last game is in a full game, it's like something else. <laughs> Three normal games and then two 10 minute games? That would suck. No, like you play four normal games. So if it's 2 2 after that in terms of games, then. You don't play a full game, you just play something shorter. So you don't have to play five full games. I think if you were tied to two, the people would want to play that final full game, though. I guess that's true, yeah. A lot of people think we should, some people, okay, not, I don't know how many really, but some people think we should do like an LTP, and I've kind of been against that. I don't know, I haven't like, played an LTP playoff like that, so I have no opinion. I guess I haven't either, but my opinion is um, that the like structure, like the format of a game, should be the same in the playoffs as the regular season. Because I feel like if you change the format of the game in the playoffs, that kind of like undermines the entire system in a way. You start what? Well, I mean, the whole like season is about who's the no, best at this format. No, that's a what Megatron kind of just said. Oh, sorry. Like, someone has, like, a hand down the pants. Like, I don't know what you mean by second base. <laughs> oh, he's joking. <laughs> he's making a joke about what baseball started doing. Is that really? Like, mean? in single A or some shit. Like, if you go into the 10th inning, they, they started making it, like, uh, where somebody starts in second base to try to speed up the game. This assumes that I will have watched baseball in any like extended capacity at all. You wouldn't have even seen it. It was just like a thing that came up on like R slash baseball, and probably like on Facebook or something. People are fucking pissed. Fly, can you edit your um, comment? What comment? Um, the Article 2, Section 3C should actually say. Yeah, because BAM copy pasted all the things and I was just copy pasting from that. So we're going to have to like go through and like fix all of these. I don't know why he posted them because it's our subreddit already. Not that we know of video. I've heard that rumor from a few different people. I go texted me tonight and said he wasn't. Said he wasn't dropping out? Um, I'll read you the exact text message. <laughs> from Ego. Skinny said he might captain slash you had talked to him. If that's at all possible, go for that. But I want a post specifically kicking me out just for funsies. And I said, we aren't kicking you out. And then he said, can you get ca would you sw swap Skinny for me? He'll only play if he captains, and I think it's worth it. And I said that Skinny said he wouldn't do it. Well, that's pretty much our conversation. Because yeah. I do think it would make sense to swap. Yeah, well, a go for skinny because then you get two MLT players instead of one, or three exactly. instead of one. But skinny said he wouldn't do it unless there's two center teams, which would be god tier if you had two teams and plus skinny and a go and ball yeah, that's two okay. new majors to it. Already pretty stacked set. Oh, okay. What if we like talk to him more officially and tell him we would give him captaincy? I mean, I had a pretty serious conversation with skinny. Does he okay. just not want to play unless he's like guaranteed to be OP?
Um, I'm gonna have to kick Ishii for Mumble for using such hateful language. I agree. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, I can't hear us. They can hear us. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, you should, oh, you please should get don't, Please don't send those kind of words to this channel. Thanks. Darn. <laughs> We've ruined your pristine. <laughs> your pristine uh, reputation. All right, I'm bored of working on rules. Yeah, same. Let's. Are we are we done with the uh, that article? Um, do we change the loan things? No, we have to do loans. All right, we should pick it up at section five tomorrow. Yeah, there's okay. a lot of comments on that, and loans are changing pretty drastically. So, I think we will wait for everyone to be here. All right, so we're all good to meet tomorrow, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I have enough to yell, but I'll be around. Oh, yeah, true. I think theoretically I'm supposed to give someone's 21st birthday party, so. Mm. Is it going to be like an all night, like till like 2 a 2 30 a.m. kind of thing? Uh, we probably could just meet early, right? We could do that. Move for, I mean, uh, Bam's probably at work, but, you know. We can just add him about like what we think we're going to end up doing. I mean, we talked about it a little bit already today. Um. Okay, sounds good. Early tomorrow. All right, sounds good. All right, can I guess? Can I guess? Are you gonna save the stream? I could. You want me to upload it for posterity? No, it's fine. We can have an MLTV CRC channel. Yeah, we can actually name it C Spawn. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll. I'll. Uh, it'll be on the tomorrow. VOD, so we have like a week to get that set up if we want to do that. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. See you guys. See you.